Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll guide you through resolving the problem of no boot device found issue with an error code 3F0. This problem occurs during computer startup. I've covered how to fix this problem in my previous video, but the method provided in the video may not be universally applicable to all computer models due to variations in BIOS environments. In the video, I explored enabling the legacy support option, but some users in the comments section mentioned that they couldn't locate this option in their computer's BIOS. Therefore, in today's video, I'll be demonstrating two other alternative methods to fix the problem within two different computer BIOS environments. Alright without further ado guys, let's jump into the video. Firstly, let's begin with the first laptop I have here. Begin by powering off the computer. Once the computer has been shut down, power it on again and continuously press F10 to access the computer's BIOS environment. Use the arrow keys to navigate to Boot Options, Scroll down to Secure Boot using the down arrow key and press Enter. Check the status, if enabled, proceed to disable it. If it's disabled, enable it. After making this adjustment, select Exit and opt to save changes and exit. Confirm the changes by entering the four-digit code followed by the Enter key. Guys as you can see here, disabling the secure boot fixed the issue of no boot device found, now the computer is booting into Windows. Here is another PC having same issue of no boot device found. Begin by powering off the laptop. Power it on again and consistently press the F10 key to access the BIOS environment. The BIOS setup of this laptop differs from the previous one. To resolve the problem, choose the Advanced option. Select Secure Boot Configuration. Here both Legacy Support and Secure Boot are currently disabled. To solve the issue, select Enable Legacy Support and Disable Secure Boot. Save the changes and then exit. Now the problem is resolved, and the PC should successfully boots into Windows operating system. If none of the previous solutions resolves the issue, the next step is to restore BIOS settings to factory defaults. Access the BIOS and choose the Exit option, then select Load Setup Defaults. Confirm with Yes and press Enter. Proceed to select Save Changes and Exit confirming with Yes. Your computer will now reboot and successfully boot into Windows. That's a quick and effective method to address this problem. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. 